Good morning, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz, and today another detailed forecast update coming your way. We're going to be talking about showers and storms across Victoria, New South Wales and Tasmania to start things off, before talking about some showers and storms possible over Western Australia, and then some showers and hot weather expected through Queensland and the Northern Territory to wrap up this video. So all of that plus more coming up in today's weather forecast. If you are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. Your support is greatly appreciated. So start things off right now with the South Australia, Victoria, Tasmania weather outlook. You can see there is a bit of a cold front sweeping through the area powered by a low pressure system offshore from the southeastern corner of South Australia where the cursor is right now. You can really see it uh, wrapping around sort of the Air Peninsula at this time about to cross the coast over Kangaroo Island. That's bringing some showers into the Adelaide metro area and powering a frontal band that's bringing showers through western parts of New South Wales and into the western half of Victoria as well. Not too much in the way of heavy rainfall but still could be seeing accumulations of 15 millimetres throughout their morning and early afternoon hours through the western half of Victoria. Some heavier showers expect to develop around Wagga Wagga and Albury throughout the course of this evening and some heavy showers also possible across the northwestern part of Tasmania later on tonight associated with this cold front. You can see it here on the rainfall forecast map throughout New South Wales and Victoria. The rainfall does pick up throughout the course of today with chances of thunderstorms across some of the ranges over central Victoria uh, and some heavy showers and storms possible later on tonight around midnight into the early hours of tomorrow morning uh, throughout parts of New South Wales and Victoria especially around Albury and like I said Wagga Wagga and they could extend into communities such as Canberra and then up towards Orange and Dubbo as well. We could be seeing some showers and storms as far north there. And Sydney might be waking up to a few showers and storms as well early tomorrow morning with some strong northwesterly winds also possible. So wind chills will be uh, quite cold indeed. You probably need an extra jacket tomorrow, or at least a uh, jacket, that's for sure, because it will be quite cool with some showers and storms expected around the Sydney metro area early tomorrow morning. The rain will continue through Tasmania. I'm just going to spoil it right now. For the west coast of Tasmania, are expecting up to 250 millimetres across the next 10 days. That's 25 millimetres a day on average, and trust me, they'll be getting every last drop of that 25 millimetres. Rainfall just continues right through with this weekend and into next week really does pick up towards the uh, early and later parts of next week as well with Tuesday and Wednesday expecting about 50 millimetres each for the west coast of Tasmania so certainly some wet conditions expected down there uh, and I'll just roll this back as well so I can give Victoria and South Australia a bit of a forecast as well. The showers continuing throughout the course of today and a few showers also expected later on tomorrow for parts of South Australia and the Victorian coastline so overall looks like a pretty good period in terms of rainfall that's going to be streaming in at least to wrap up this week and start off next uh, this coming weekend Saturday and Sunday, it looks like a pretty decent forecast indeed, especially for some of the parched communities across Victoria, which are in exceptional drought conditions at this time and are in desperate need of that rainfall. So like I'm saying, with rainfall accumulations, they certainly are quite big. You can see rainfall accumulations over the next three days, including today, tomorrow and Thursday, up to 50 millimetres across the west coast of Tasmania, some spots up towards 15 millimetres around Adelaide and parts of uh, South Australia, and then some widespread accumulation is above 10 millimetres for Victoria, with isolated totals of to 20 or 25 millimetres here and there and outside of Albury and like I said Wagga Wagga up towards 25-30 millimetres expected there so some good rainfall is possible in the more mountainous areas and the foothills around Victoria and New South Wales is great dividing range. Certainly looking like a decent forecast, that's for sure. Now to start off this weekend and continue through this weekend, a couple more drops of rainfall expected, especially Friday and Saturday through Victoria and parts of New South Wales, up to 10 millimetres expected on Friday and Saturday there. The west coast of Tasmania is still receiving decent rainfall as well uh, throughout the uh, weekend, and that rainfall really does pipe up into the later parts of next week as well, into the early to later parts of next week, rather. Uh, I mean, just take a look at this. Uh, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday for Tasmania, especially along the west coast. Accumulations up to 130 or 140 millimetres expected. The bulk of it coming through Tuesday and Wednesday where 50 millimetres are expected on both of those days. Very wet conditions indeed. And some good rainfall as well for parts of southern Victoria once you get up towards the ranges around Ballarat and Bendigo. The rainfall does start to drop off just a little bit, but still around the coastline, especially even into South Australia as well. Accumulations between 25 and 50 millimetres are looking quite widespread and quite healthy. So looking very good indeed as a weather forecast to wrap up August. Looks like there is a little bit of wet weather in the forecast now for Victoria, which is fantastic to see. Now, just for fun, 10-day rainfall accumulations across the west coast of Tasmania. Take a look at this, this purple swathe here. This is tropical-like rainfall, huge amounts of rainfall coming through, especially for mid to late August, 250 millimetres expected uh, down the west coast. Very wet conditions indeed. It is typical for this time of the year, but I would expect some rivers to uh, look to flow towards a minor or even the moderate river flooding levels, uh, especially into the middle parts of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So just a heads up for the west coast of Tasmania, this is some pretty wet weather that's going to be streaming in. So make sure you are staying safe if you live in a flood prone area. 
Now, the winter weather forecast, at least uh, for this part of South uh, Eastern Australia, is more or less done. But I would actually like to talk about a little bit more of tropical weather that's going to be streaming in. So there is a chance of some thunderstorms across central New South Wales throughout the course of today. And you can see it here on the radar and satellite imagery. There are a few storms firing up between Broken Hill and Mildura on the back side of this cold front here. So uh, the heads up is that there could be some showers and storms there throughout the course of today. And they'll continue into the evening hours of tonight uh, once you get down towards Albury and Wagga Wagga. However, with temperatures expected to soar later on this week and into early next weekend. Take a look at this. Maxima on Friday up towards 38 degrees for parts of South Australia. Very warm indeed. We're starting to crack into more spring, uh, late spring-like temperatures through here. And these temperatures will extend into New South Wales as well, out sort of around Tilbury. You're looking at temperatures up towards 30, 31 degrees Celsius. And even into South uh, Western Queensland, temperatures soaring up towards 35 or 36 degrees Celsius. Warmer still on Saturday as well, especially into New South Wales, with temperatures soaring up towards 35 degrees Celsius across the north or western corner. Very warm indeed, and even communities such as Mildura, Griffith, and Coba, which typically average around 16 to 18 degree maxima this time of year, looking to uh, reach around 25 to 26 degrees Celsius uh, daytime maxima. So look at about 8 to 10 degrees Celsius above average across a big swathe of New South Wales. Broken Hill going to crack 30 on Saturday by the looks of things, so certainly going to be quite warm indeed. Temperatures continuing to rise on Sunday as well, especially for the East Coast. Uh, temperatures up towards 25 or 26 expected, with some showers offshore as well, so it looks like conditions could be quite humid there with a heat index probably going to be a few degrees higher than the actual temperature so it looks like this weekend it is going to be a hot one indeed and it might be the first beach weather in quite a while temperatures are still sky high through monday before they do start to cool off a little bit on tuesday the east coast taking a couple more days to cool down yet you can still see temperatures there with the passage of the cold front here a massive line of cold weather across victoria and then warm weather across the northern parts of victoria still though some warm temperatures expected along the east coast of uh, New South Wales before a little bit of reprieve from that cold front on Thursday next week but it looks like a pretty hot week next week for parts of New South Wales warm and dry in stark contrast to Victoria and Tasmania's cold and wet and miserable weather so it looks like especially for the northern coast might be a little bit of beach weather inbound which is some fantastic news and certainly something that people will be holding out for and before we talk about Western Australia I'll just continue on this here look at temperatures up above 40 degrees Celsius now to the middle parts and the later parts of next week it is this time of the year where we start to see those 40 degree temperatures fire up across the central parts of Australia. Certainly going to start getting very warm indeed, and I will keep you very posted, uh, very much posted and in the loop with the weather as it does slowly warm up. Now let's move into the southwestern corner of Western Australia. I've got a lot to be talking about here. We've got a series of cold fronts expected to make passage across southwestern Western Australia. Currently a high pressure ridge keeping things cool and calm. Still a few showers in the mix. My weather station sitting at 99.8 millimetres for the last, I think, four days of rainfall, so another 0.2 millimetres would be very much welcome to ticket over into triple figures, but it gives you the idea of how much rainfall we've had across the southwest. A few showers expected later on today for the Perth metro area before another cold front sweeps in and that low pressure system brings some heavier showers Thursday afternoon and evening for the Perth metro area and the southwest as a whole, with a chance of some thunderstorms Thursday night into Friday morning before another cold front sweeps up late Friday night into Saturday morning, with a chance of up to 30 millimetres falling over the Perth metro area Saturday morning and early afternoon, and up to 50 millimetres falling across areas around the southwest, especially around dwelling up in Geraldale, typically the wettest locations in cold fronts like this, but it looks like some heavy rainfall is coming through Saturday and into early Sunday morning, and then just a series of cold fronts sweeping up from the south into the later and the, uh, the middle and the later parts of next week. Another cold front sweeps in late August, so it definitely looks like we're moving into a, maybe two weeks of pretty wet weather through here, uh, which will keep things, again, relatively mild across the southwest, but just take a look at the temperature observations across parts of Western Australia into the um, later parts of next week. They are starting to get quite warm indeed, so this wet weather is not going to hang around across the southwest. It is going to be a pretty quick end to winter once this uh, cold weather starts to move out, and I reckon that's going to happen sometime in September. September, so just a heads up on that. Uh, the heaviest of rainfall will be, like I said, on Saturday, and you can see it here from the cold front that's going to be moving in from Friday afternoon into Saturday early morning. The rainfall accumulations do fire up quite significantly across the southwest of Western Australia. Heaviest accumulations around Bickley up to 50 millimetres. Perth expecting a healthy 30 millimetres. The northern suburbs also getting some good rainfall. The southern suburbs look to be a bit of a hit and miss on this forecast here, so 
I'll keep an eye on things and keep you posted, but some pretty good rainfall nonetheless expected across the Darling Range and even down towards the south coastal regions. Unfortunately, not making it deep out into the wheat belt. It looks like the wheat belt's going to start wrapping up in terms of rainfall at this time, which is sad to see, but some good rainfall is still possible there over the next 10 days. And I'll show you that right now on the forecast here. 10-day rainfall accumulation is looking very healthy across the southwest and even into the wheat belt as well, with showers expected to be streaming through there consistently today, tomorrow, and then into the early parts of next week, Sunday and Monday, accumulations will amount up towards 30 millimetres for parts of the western half of the wheat belt, and then between 10 and 30 millimetres for parts of the eastern and northern wheat belt as well. And some good rainfall extending as far north as Dalwallanu and Three Springs. You can see accumulations above 15 millimetres out there. But once you get further out into the wheat belt, especially out towards Perenjoy, the rainfall does fall off a cliff, but that is typically where the wheat belt does end. So again, nothing too concerning out there. The rainfall will still continue. The heaviest accumulations will, of course, be around the hills over the next 10 days, up to 140 millimeters expected some more very good rainfall to wrap up august especially because a lot of the stations across the southwest have already received their average august rainfall uh, accumulation so this rainfall is just going to continue to add and build towards a potentially record-breaking month for some of the stations around here one station that i'm very keen in watching is Majmup. they are still about 120 millimeters away from their all-time august uh, wettest however for Majmup residents i would not be surprised if you came very close to eclipsing that record with the rainfall that's coming through over the next 10 days and then a little bit expected beyond that as well. So just a heads up for management residents. It looks like you might be in for a record-breaking month of rainfall. I'm keeping it short and sweet over Western Australia. I know because I have a bit of a bias towards Western Australia and because I do live here, I can blow the timings out on some of these forecasts uh, quite significantly. So if you do have any questions or comments or specifics that I've left unanswered, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. We're going to move over to Queensland now, keeping things short and sweet over there as well because we do have some storms expected into the early parts of next week, I believe. Tuesday, we're looking at the chance of some thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday throughout the southeastern corner, and that's going to be powered by a trough that's going to be moving through. Monday and Tuesday, firing up some showers and storms Tuesday early afternoon across the southeast of Queensland and the northeast of New South Wales. A low pressure system looks to be in the making over there, which could be firing up those thunderstorms and creating a nice unstable environment for storm activity. So just a heads up, there's going to be enough fuel in the environment Tuesday afternoon for some showers and storms across southeast and Queensland. This is a brand new addition to the forecast as well, and it's still a week away, so the Bureau of Meteorology hasn't picked up on it yet, and I don't blame them. I mean, there's still a lot of uncertainty with this forecast here. But I will keep you very much posted and in the loop on this weather forecast here because it looks like some showers and storms are possible across this part of southeastern Queensland and northeastern New South Wales. Some of them could potentially be severe as well. Now, I'll also like to talk about 10-day rainfall accumulations across Queensland. You can see it here. Uh, there's hardly any rainfall apart from in the far north. I'll get to that right now. You can see the far north of Queensland expecting up to 80 millimetres of rainfall over the next 10 days. That's on top of the 30 millimetres that some locations have expected, uh, have received overnight. So the rainfall's still is piping up there. I did say that Tuesday was going to be a pretty wet day, so throughout the course of today, the showers will continue. They will ease off early tomorrow morning, but the showers continuing through Wednesday. Chances of showers on Thursday as well. Showers also possible on Friday and Saturday before they do slowly start to ease off into the early parts of next week. Monday and Tuesday expecting to be a little bit drier. Same thing with Wednesday and Thursday, but it looks like rainfall accumulations over the next five days could amount up to 100 millimetres for parts of far north Queensland. And I always like to double some of the accumulations for some of these locations. So if I see 100 millimetres on the forecast, especially around a station that I watch a lot, Tongue Oil Alert, you can pretty much get away with doubling the rainfall forecast there and still get a pretty accurate forecast just because of the mountainous nature of the uh, parts of far north Queensland where that station is located, the rainfall can and often does blow out big time. So up to 200 millimetres expected, it's still not a lot of rainfall by far north Queensland standards, but it's certainly something that needs to be watched very closely. So again, the heads up, showers continuing throughout today and showers continuing into early next week for parts of far north Queensland. The weather is remaining rather cold, miserable and pretty wet and damp up there for a lot of the locations. And it doesn't look like they've had a proper dry season. They've had a couple of weeks of relatively dry weather across far north North Queensland, but nothing's really stopped for about a month at a time, which is typical of a northern dry season uh, for far north Queensland at least. So it has been a pretty wet dry, uh, dry season, all things considered. Rainfall about twice as high as average. So again, hopefully a little bit of dry weather is on the cards before the wet season returns in just a couple of months. Now you can see me panning down in towards central Queensland. This is another thing that I want to be talking about is the temperatures throughout next week. They're really going to soar, especially from Friday onwards into Saturday. You can see temperatures expected to be a couple of degrees 
is above average across a big swathe of Queensland, Northern Territory and South Australia as well. It's not so much this weekend, but it's more into the early parts of next week, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures expected to soar up towards 36 or 37 degrees across parts of southeastern, southwestern Queensland rather. And then all along the Queensland interior, looking at temperatures above 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Brisbane and the southeast looking a little bit cooler at around 24 to 27 degrees Celsius, but still relatively warm across there. It just looks like Queensland is going to be moving into a hot end to August with a couple of hot days expected and a couple of days of significantly above average temperatures, especially across the southwest. But again, nothing to concern about because this is pretty normal for this time of the year. Just a heads up that it looks like some hot weather is inbound to wrap up August, which is fantastic to see. I mean, I bet everyone right now is just fed up with the cold weather, uh, especially across Queensland, the Sunshine State. So some, uh, the, so some hot weather rather and some more tropical weather would be very much welcome. But you can already start to see temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius or approaching 40 degrees Celsius starting to come into the mix into the later parts of next week certainly looks like we're looking at a bit of a hot spell that's going to start off September and it looks like a pretty good uh, a pretty solid end to the wet season the southern wet season at least for some of the more hit and miss locations closer to the tropics I mean the wet season will still continue across Victoria Tasmania and Western Australia for a couple more weeks and up to a month still uh, but it definitely looks like winter is starting to die down a little bit and this is the first telltale sign of it anyways this video has gone for long enough already thank you so much for sticking around to this part of the video if you haven't already please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. Your support lately has been greatly appreciated. A special shout out to the channel sponsors. Their names are on screen right now and I could not run this show without them. So again, their support has been greatly appreciated. But that is all for me today and I will catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.